Weasel? I know you're somewhere. He said he'd be back by supper. Seems this place like a hotel. I wish some other boys lived near. Oh, I reckon he's happy enough on his own. He usually is. He's been very odd since tea. Uh, kids are funny, you know. They don't tell you much. You may not be here in Castle Saburac, but you've got to be somewhere. I mean, you just kind of magic yourself into the past. Bet you get the spell wrong anyway. Nothing works. <laughs> publicity stunts, if you ask me. Look here. Next thing, one of them helicopter tears will arrive and start chucking down packets of corn for me. Now, that's enough. I'm going up. Get a ladder. I'll get the police. You'll do no such thing. The man's on my spire, and I shall deal with it. Don't do anything foolish. We, we can talk this over. I'm coming up. Whatever you do, don't jump. <laughs> Things legal. I paid ten quid for her. I must have seen you coming. Well, she's a jolly good little runner. Well, she'll do forty. Down Longview Hill. She'll do forty down Longview Hill in a wheelbarrow. Is it trouble with the police? Well, financial difficulties. I mean, whatever the problem is, it can be solved. Hold it firm, you fool. It's no use trying to shift him, because he's made up his mind to be awkward. Shall me, tell me, Adonai, let me fly, let me fly! I mean, what, what, I, I really would advise against any attempt to fly. Venite, venite, spiritus! Oh, do be famous, be famous. I, I mean, while there's life, there's hope, oh, <laughs> And if you were to come down onto terra firma, uh, things might look different. I mean, no desperando, mo chap. <laughs> Just now follow the path. That's what I, I try to. I, I try, narrow though it is. <laughs> I have failed. Oh, well, we, we all do. But sometimes it, it can be a blessing in disguise. Keep it still, it's wobbling. Art thou my brother? Oh, of course, yes. Yes, of course. Wilt thou show me thy book? Oh, gladly, I'll give you a copy. Psh. Then I will descend. Thank goodness for that. Sam, if you want to get away. Oh, thanks, boss. No, she's running perfect. Cold, that's all. You got a flat tire. I know I've got a flat tire. Won't she start? No. Need a push? No thanks, Kurt. Thanks all the same. She ought to start on her own. Can't keep on pushing her. Where you been, anyway? Your dad's been after you. You been up in the woods again? Yeah. You still playing at your magic? No, Sam. Not anymore. 
Ah, oh, never mind. Cheer up, old son. Give me a hand here, eh? It'll take long? Not only a couple of minutes. All right. Ah, oh, come in, come in, old chap. There we are. Ah, sit yourself down, old chap. I expect you're all in. Yeah, no, there's nothing there, but just Shirley Temples. Where? So the dinner she's got to. She went out about half an hour ago with Spencer Tracy. Whoosh. Yeah, talk of the devil. Which devil? Huh? Yes, first, 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 first. <laughs> Oh, Pleasure must be given, then, Ash. Laurel and Hardy. What is this place? Oh, my, my, my bishop calls it Hollywood. <laughs> yes, that's um, not really a cat's home. No, they just seem to gravitate to the vicarage like magic. Really? Cats bring magic? Yes, they're so <laughs> glamorous, too, aren't they? Hence the names. Oh, do sit down. Oh. Now, now, let's hear all about your trouble. I, too, have a familiar spirit. See. What a splendid chap. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> How long have you had him? 900 years. <laughs> I uh, invoked the spirits. Did you? But it was in vain. I flew not back, but sideways to thy tower. Oh, really? What a disappointment for you. Now, where did this uh, journey of yours begin? Hard by the farm at Hexwood. Oh, Hexwood, near Westbourne. Do you work there? Uh, nay, I work at Castle Saberac. Castle Saberac? <laughs> oh, I thought I knew all the villages round about here. Oh, yes, I really must find out who you belong to. A three quarter inch spanner. No, not that one. The ring spanner. Ta. You want a bit of chewing gum? Oh, I've got some licorice all sorts. No, no, never mind. Ah, it's a, a pity. I was going to take you for a spin this afternoon. How about it, eh, when I get her going? I better go until then. I'm back. Down on it, here's Hexwood Farm. G.A. Bennett, Westbourne, 5839. Uh. Hello? Hello. Hello. Shh. Now, who is that speaking? It is I. Uh, Hexford Farm? Ah, good. Could I speak to Mr. Bennett? I know not. Shh. My name is Potts. Shh. My name is Catweasel. Will you be quiet? No, no I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean you. No. I'm the vicar of Bandon. And I am Catweasel. Uh, hold on a minute. Dad? He's gone to get him. George Bennett here. Ah, hello, Mr. Bennett. Uh, this is the Vicar of Bandham. Oh, yes? No, I wondered if you could help me. Oh, ask me anything, my brother. Uh, I've got a man here with me. What? He's uh, out of his mind. What's that? Well, you'll have to speak up. Well, it's very difficult. He's here in the room with me. Oh, invisible demon. I bid thee appear. Put that knife away. Is he attacking you? Uh, well, uh, no, no, I, I think he's harmless. Oh, if he's a friendly demon, all is well. Who is he? Well, he's an old man. What old man? Uh, look, is, is there a village or a hamlet near you called Castle Saberac? Castle Saberac? Not round here. Just conjure with a magic bow. Uh, have, a, have a cigarette, old man. <laughs> but, uh, are you sure? Because he, he says he comes from uh, near your farm. Yes, I thought you might be able to identify him. Why speakest thou to that bone? Bone, not bone. I think only they're both mad. The man needs help. If thou art a demon, I will destroy thee. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Look, Vicar, we'll, we'll soon get this sorted out. Uh, uh, don't you worry. Bandon, you say? Yeah, ba Bandon, that's right, yes. Thank you. He says there's an old chap there who knows me or something, and that he's gone potty. Well, I suppose I'd better go and see what it's all about. Now? Well, then, hold on a minute. I can't go around like this, can I? Now? Yes, now! All right, you're on. 
Where do you want to go to? Abandoned, abandoned church. Voices. This electric in it. Of course it is. Now put it down. Oh, great magician. Summon more voices with thy telling bone. Look! Nearly 35! Great! Can I get any more out of it? Thou liest, false sorcerer. Oh, don't get excited again. Conjure more voices. Keep calm. It's only the phone, I tell you. Thou wilt not share thy knowledge. The young wizard at Hexwood is my true brother. Look, old chap, all I want to do is, is help you. I've just phoned up Hexwood and your friend is coming to take you home. Thou speakest truly. I see him. Oh. That's it. Oh, yes, quite so. How long are you going to be, sir? About ten minutes. Hey, why don't you go down the pub? Sounds like a good idea. I see you back here. What's he gone there for? I don't know. You wouldn't say. Said he had to see the vicar about something. I had to see the vicar? To arrange things. My Sam? Yes. Did he have a young woman with him? Don't know. I didn't see one. I'll put a stop to this. Give me the secret of the telling bone, thou simpering sackbut. You're getting worked up again. Thou brain bolster, thou... Behind them. Ding ding. Shh. Now the telling bone is mine. Shh. Yes. Well, Sam. Oh, that's his name. He's in my study. I'm getting rather excited, you know. Is he indeed? No, oh, I've had a. Terrible time with him. He didn't tell me he was going to do it. Oh, well, they never do, you know, not when they really mean to. But he could have told me, though. Surely I would have understood. After all, I am his mother. Yes, sir. What? Thank <laughs> you. 
quite mad. Great Scott. What's the matter? He's locked in there with Shirley Temple. Get down. Keep out of sight. Where's Mother? Uh, well, well, she woke up and wants to know where you were. Where'd you tell her? Uh, the vicarage. Where'd you want to tell her that for? Well, it sounds better than the pub. What have you been up to? Nothing, Mother. Somebody's telling lies. I ain't got to the bottom of it yet. But I will. Uh, couldn't we go back a different way? Why, good idea, Karen. Keep your fingers crossed. There, they're crossed. The man you phoned me about. Oh, you're Bennett. That's, That's right. That's how to do. Yes, he is. He's gone. He's vanished. Don't do come in. Uh, uh. What was he like? Well, he was, uh, he was peculiar. He was most peculiar. No, it's mad. Not as mad as a March Hare. Uh, at least, uh. well, I wonder if this woman was part of a plot to get me out of the village. The monthly offering. Oh, of course, that's why she came. She, it was to give him an opportunity to make his getaway. No, everything seems to be intact. We must phone for the police. He's taken it with him. One thing, Kara. Run seems to done you good. What do you mean, Sam? Well, you're nearly back to your old self again. I am? <laughs> Not us. Of course, you're losing oil. Three-quarter-inch spanner. Carrot! Uh, oh, sorry, Sam. No, not the ring spanner, the other one. Hard to learn all the mysteries. Sideways, not back. <laughs> Come, telling road. Whisper to me all the magic of this strange time. Are you there, spirits? Are you there? <laughs> 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 